We're in Internet Information Services on a 2019 Windows server. If you need to understand how to install and configure IIS, check out the video in this playlist. So what I want to do in this one is I want to enable anonymous access. So if you get prompted for a username and password and you don't want the users to get prompted, I'll show you how to enable an, uh, anonymous access once again and turn off authentication. So we're in the default website. I'm going to go to where it says authentication. I'm going to double click on that and take a look. We see that Windows authentication is enabled. You may see basic or ASP uh, also enabled. So what you want to do is you want to disable Windows authentication or any other authentication with the exception of anonymous. Now we want to enable anonymous authentication and now it should work. However, if it still doesn't work, it could be permissions with the folder. So what you can do is right click on the default website and or whatever website you're working on and click edit permissions. Now when we're in the permissions, you'll go to security and what you want to look for is the IIS I users and you want to make sure that that's there and has read and execute list folder and read contents which will give anonymous users the ability to read but not actually make any changes to anything in the website. If you don't see that you can click edit, you can click add, type IIS, check names and it'll find the IIS users. So that is how we make sure that you have your anonymous authentication turned on and Windows or basic authentication disabled in Internet Information Services on a Windows 2019 server.